Hey everybody, it's Richard RM Auto Diag, and today we're going to have a look at an S Type Jag, and we've got a catalyst code. Right, okay, so the car's running, I've got it warmed up. The engine management line isn't on at the moment, but the codes have been cleared apparently. So we're here. Engine. I have started having a look at this already. I'll just show you what I found. So we've got codes. We've got plenty of them in here. So we've got catalyst efficiency on bank one and bank two. Because this is a V6, so we've got two cats in it. We've got some pedal position sensor, which I believe is for the uh, accelerator pedal in the car. Uh, we've got some issues with that and also this one which is concerning we got this uh, variable valve timing over retarded it does run a bit lumpy there is some coils and stuff in the boot so I think this has had some running issues before that's probably where our problems arose from for these uh, these cats going bad get some data up just have a look at what we can test Okay, so we go custom, deselect, and we want somewhere uh, upstream and downstream for bank one. And we want the same for bank two. So we put that on. There we go. Right, so now we're graphing it and we can see what's going on. Right, so we've got bank two upstream and uh, bank two downstream, upstream and downstream. So these are switching on the upstream and sadly looking at definitely this one it is switching pretty well the same I mean the cat's not really doing a lot because what's coming in isn't getting changed and coming out this is a bit more stable certainly on tick over but you can see you know we got we're between 0.9 and 0.88 whereas this is going between sort of pretty well zero to eight which is just going to be the same as as this here so if we rev it up and we'll see what See what happens, I suspect this will probably clean up a bit better. I say usually a good rule of thumb on the, these older oxygen sensors is um, should be about one hertz, so one switch per second on the um, upstream sensors. And the downstream shouldn't really switch at all. This should be pretty uh, a pretty stable reading definitely we've got issues with this one and when I was looking earlier this one was switching when it was revving so I think we're definitely we can see why we've got that PO 420 and 430 yeah you can see it's starting to switch here not quite as bad as this one though but I think that's definitely where our codes have come from so that's just a pretty quick little test. Yeah, you can see it's going there now. It's a pre pretty quick little test. If it's the same on the upstream as the downstream, then you've probably got an issue with your cat. But what you want to bear in mind is if you've got any other issues with the car. So I know that there's coils in the back of this car, so misfires can definitely damage catalytic converters. Also, we've got an issue potentially with the variable valve timing, so the timing might be out on this or something along those lines which isn't going to make it run very well which is also not going to do any good for the cats because if there's unburnt fuel going through them that's uh, that's a surefire way to damage that substrate inside of it so um, yeah just a just a quick one on a bit of uh, lambda sensor O2 sensor testing um, so that's about it really um, I'll probably might do another video, maybe we'll have a look into the running fault on this one. Um, 
I think at this point the uh, the customers decided it was too much anyway, so that that this this vehicle's end of life now. It's get they're going to get rid of it. It's a it's a 2000 S type. So uh, yeah, they're not really interested in uh, spending a lot of money on it. All right, so thanks for watching and come along for the next one.